Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and it's all about transferring your Windows 10 license to another computer. Now, this approach is like doing commands. So if you're not really comfortable of like going inside command prop and then running commands, you know, just stop the video and go to something else. But uh, the only time I find myself doing this is when I need to decommission a machine that has a license and I need to bring it over to a new machine, especially if you are doing uh, recycle Dell machines every three years, you wanna remove that Windows 10 Enterprise or Windows 7 Enterprise license, and you wanna free it up for your new machine that you're gonna re-image within your infrastructure, okay? So, as always, I like to test everything out within my VMware uh, environment. Now, on your Windows 10 machine or your Windows 10 machine, you want to open up Command Prompt. Now, for Windows 10, if you right click on the Start menu, you are able to do Command Prompt uh, Admin. Got to run in as an admin level. Now, this Windows 10 machine is one of those kind of customized enterprise one that doesn't have like the Windows PowerShell. But if you right click on your Start menu, most likely you're not going to see Command Prompt. You're going to see like Windows PowerShell. If you click on start and you start typing CMD, you're gonna see the command prompt, which is good. You're gonna right click on it and you wanna run it as an administrator. You're gonna get the user account control, so click on yes, and you're gonna get this. Now the following command that you need to do on the machine that you wanna remove the license and then bring it over is the following. You wanna do is slmgr.vbs forward slash upk. Hit enter. If everything works well, it's going to say uninstall product key successfully. Now, for this to work, you need to know the license key in the get-go. Okay, most likely you purchased a key or you found a key somewhere in the internet world which is not legit and it's working for you, but you want to move it over to a new machine. You need to remove it first. And that's it. You uninstall the product key on that machine and now you can take that product key and move it over to a new machine. Now, the next thing that you need to do is you need to clear the cache like within the registry of that machine that license key is there even though you removed it successfully or uninstall it that key is somewhere within the registry so you're going to run the following command which is slmgr dot vbs forward slash cpky hit enter and it's going to say party key from the registry cleared successfully done all right now you officially remove that license key from that machine and if you have that 25 key license key you can move it over to a new machine and you're good to go now on your new machine how can you license it it's a couple of ways you could go inside uh, all settings go to about and then go to system and then enter the 25 key to license it and you're good to go if you're a geek like me you want to do it within the command prompt you're gonna run the same uh, kind of utility which is slmgr.vbs with a forward slash of ipk and your 25 key now this is not a real 25 key but if you hit enter uh most likely it's going to say license key blah 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 successfully installed and i will say reboot your machine and then your license you're good to go now because it's not really a legit 25 key i guarantee you guys are already typing in and wanting license your windows 10 it gave me the warning and stating that the software license service reported that the product key is not invalid you know it's just garbage but if you want to license your machine within a command prompt this is what you enter and that's it so hopefully you guys enjoy this video leave comments right below don't forget about hitting that like button and i catch you guys on the next one peace out